guys so today i wanted to do a short video while we were driving to the mall of africa to talk about things that you guys should really do prior to i don't know if you're on the journey to move somewhere um like maybe the first things that you do before you start telling people you're moving somewhere if that makes sense like moving out of the country and i say that because i get a lot of questions about things that probably should have been thought about before you decided to move and i just think that people probably don't have a good idea about the process of which you should probably move through moving out of the country it's not like you decide you're going to move somewhere and then you immediately jump and start doing the paperwork and it moves like that that's not how it goes there's actually like a lot of incremental things that you should be thinking about and doing consciously before making a big decision to move and like doing your application because like you're doing your application but how are you doing your application because it seems like i get a lot of questions and people are like i'm already trying to make my appointment like um but they're still asking visa questions how are you asking visa questions and you're trying to get an appointment so i just feel like maybe we should give a little bit of insight as to what we think is the best way to go about it um i feel like this will make you a little bit more empowered in the process of moving out of the country but also i'll put it into like realistic terms not everybody's able to do this and that's just the fact of the matter i wish everybody could just get up and move but guys these countries don't have to let you in that's the first thing the first thing is like definitely it is subjective you could do everything right on the application you have all the great reasons and they could absolutely be like you're not coming in so that's the first thing to put in your mind is that this is not a guarantee this is just like an application and you're trying to do it but then also outside of that there are like requirements that you do have to meet and a lot of these just can't be fluffed up like you can't just like bs them you're going to actually have to back it up with information and so i think that like before you get really excited from watching some videos you should really look at the facts that are in front of you and decide if you are able to move at this time or if you're able to move at all like do you qualify and if not i know you may love and want to come to like south africa or somewhere but maybe you may have to ch change the place that you're going so like the first thing that we would say well the first thing Jalen would say is what's the first thing that somebody should do And why do you say like that's the first thing before anything else? Because you can see it's probably best to see if you you know can even reasonably move here based on those type of requirements. So that way you can save yourself a lot of time and money and energy by already just eliminating places that you wouldn't be able to. Move. Yeah, I would definitely second that. Look at the visas, guys. You should really just be able to read the requirements for each visa and figure out if you qualify for one. I really don't think there's too many questions that have to go into that. If you don't have a job, you cannot get a work visa. Like they don't give you work visas just because you want to move here, you want to get a job. Like that already has to be secured. So like, that's a big one. Business visa, look at what is required underneath the business visa. Do you have the money? Do you have the money of what they're looking for? Like. These are not ambiguous requirements. These are like actual hard down things. So it's not like you can make something shake. You're not gonna be able to make a job shake. So if you wanna use a work visa, then you probably should be looking for a job that will grant you a work visa. And South Africa has to approve that work visa for you to be able to work in this country. Because if you're on a lot of these visas, a lot of them don't allow you to actually work and make RAND. Like we don't make RAND. So first things first is look up the visas and see if you even qualify before even buying a ticket somewhere. And so if you decide that you do qualify, um, so maybe you decide that you do meet the requirements at that point, I'd say that's when you wanna go ahead and book your trip and come and visit and see if it's somewhere you actually wanna be. So if you haven't visited yet, I'm telling you, I'm not saying that like it could go bad, but it could definitely go like straight down to hell. And that's a lot of money to be wasting so i would say do the visa process first see if you could qualify for one and not like a shoulda coulda woulda like can you like do you have a legitimate stake in doing this application so after you do the visa you should definitely go and book your trip a lot of these countries specifically uh, south africa you can come here for up to 90 days that's three months before you need a visa so that's a perfect amount of time to figure out if you like to live somewhere and that is what i would suggest you after doing that, 
the next thing is doing research and research is like not a one-time thing you should be doing deep deep research when i tell you guys that most of the information that we obtained was online that's how i know a lot of people do not research like i know that they don't they do one little simple search and they say oh it's not there like we were researching all the way through our moving and through the whole process we still research to this day use forums like reddit that's probably one of my favorite places to go because you hear first-hand accounts you i use youtube um I read off of their government websites. I read articles. Um, I read stats. Like a lot of the questions people ask, you could get the information online. It's not to gatekeep. It's really not to gatekeep. But honestly, if you guys don't have the the qualities that you need to be able to be successful here, um, it's going to be difficult. And by the qualities you need, like you need to be able to be a go getter. You need to be able to do things without somebody telling you the answer. You need to be able to search, divine. You're not moving to a new city, you're moving to a new country. So I say like you need to have those type of skills. So if you're not a researcher, you don't like to research, you don't like to, I'm not saying that moving here would be hard, but I think it may be because like this is a whole new place. And if you're ex expecting the information just to be sitting there for you, it's not going to be. And I think your life might be difficult. So I think the next thing that you should be doing is just research, deep, deep research, research the different areas. We were watching driving tours of Johannesburg, of Santon, of Midrand, of Pretoria. We would read different articles. We'd read statistics. We would compare notes for different prices of things. We would check the car market. We checked the home market. We really did everything that we could. We went and tried to find different furniture places online while we were in America to see what the prices of things were. And so that gave us a more holistic view of what we were getting into. So you need to be willing to search for the truth and search for the answers and not expect the answers to be there and be willing to do a lot to get to the answers and if you're not willing to do that now then i think you're gonna have a hard time then what would you say is something to do after you would you say research mm -hmm. after they book a ticket and visit yeah research it's i would say that those are the main things but also i would really look at the cost of living which it could go into research the cost of living but like i'm being serious like look at what your the money you make and look at that okay so maybe budget so a better budget. thing to say is what i'll let you say it what budget yeah get a budget get together and get a very very intricate budget together so not only are you doing housing and food you're doing gas you're doing how much spending money do you want to have how much going out money do you want to have going out to eat money <clears throat> money for your bills back home and the new bills here factor in internet insurance if you have a car note if you're renting a car how much that's going to be budget in literally everything try to make it as specific as possible and that will give you a better idea and picture of what you're working with you can find out the current costs of different products of different kinds of grocery foods of, of the market you can go on the apps like i told you like property 24 and private property and look up different apartments and find out how much things cost make a budget for yourself make a budget for living here make a budget for your move really start getting to understand the variables that are working and that should set you on the straight and narrow and so like I feel like the biggest part is that people are just not spending enough time doing research I think everybody's getting super excited they see people doing it they know that they want to do it they believe that they can do it and they just jump in and it's not to tell you not to do that you absolutely should dive right in you can do anything you want to do in this world but you do still have to plan guys and you still do have to think about the critical questions it's just not all roses and daisies but I'm like I'm being serious like you need to be able to have such an intricate plan that you could be okay if a disaster were to happen if the unforeseen happens i'm telling you the unforeseen is foreseeable it is definitely gonna happen we always say the worst possible thing is gonna happen like since we've been here like the worst possible thing happens every time but we planned for that so that's super important so yeah those are like the big things i think you should really prioritize and spend time on that research the visas look up countries and the first thing y'all should be doing is looking at the visas and seeing if you qualify for any of them if you don't don't be trying to make a shake because you're going to waste your money like again like i said guys do your research do your research 
I it's like I get nervous when people ask me questions that I know were on the internet. It really makes me feel like you're gonna be unprepared on this journey. And then obviously visit, like budget. Like these are the big things I think that people are just like going right past just because they're super excited. And the more that you evade these important things to be doing in this process, the more I feel like the more unstable that move is going to be, the more difficult the move is going to be, the more unsuccessful it's going to be. Like you should be able to talk to your why. You should be able to rattle off information that you know. It shouldn't be like a um, um, like guys, we're moving to a new country. So like, I feel like just take the time out to do stuff like that and that will make it very smooth. That's what I would say personally.